Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a supplier batch payment in QuickBooks Online and then export that batch payment to an ABA file that you can use to upload into your online banking to automate the payment. So when we're talking about a batch payment here, what we're doing is paying multiple bills in one go. And it doesn't have to be multiple bills from the same supplier. You can pay five different bills from five different suppliers all in one go, and then export that as an ABA file up into your bank account to send that bulk payment, a single payment that will go out and pay those five bills from your bank account. Now this is very handy if you have a high volume of suppliers that you want to pay and you want to save some time in doing that. It's also very handy in that it very much minimizes the chance of making an error by paying a supplier the wrong amount or paying a supplier to the wrong bank account or paying a different supplier altogether. As long as your information such as your supplier and their bank details and the bill amount, if all of that is inputted into QuickBooks correctly, then this will pretty much eliminate the chance of making an error when paying your suppliers. But it also really speeds up the process so you don't have to go in and pay a bill, then pay a bill, then pay a bill. You can do it all in one go. You can pay 100 bills in one go if you wanted to. So it's a very handy tool. All right, so let's have a look how you do that. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to go to new and then pay bills. So as we can see here, we have two bills that are outstanding. So this could be five bills, it could be 10 bills, it could be 100, whatever you have entered as an unpaid bill into QuickBooks, you can select here to pay as a batch payment. So you have to select the bank account first, just make sure you have the correct bank account. And you have to make sure that this bank account is set up in the settings to be able to pay batch payments. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'll duplicate the screen here because we're going to want to come back to this original screen. And we're going to close out of this payments. We're going to go to settings, chart of accounts. We're going to find the bank account in question. We'll select it. And we'll go edit. And here you can see there's a tick box next to I create batch payments for this account. So to be able to create the batch payments and export an ABA file, you have to make sure that this is selected here. So that's good, it's already set up. I'll close out of here and go back to our original window. And we can see here again that we have our two payments, two outstanding bills rather that need to be paid. So I'm going to select both of these. And then down the bottom here, if it's not showing create batch payment, you'll just have to click on the down arrow and then you'll be able to bring it up here. So we're going to go create batch payment for $720 on the 6th of January. Now we've got a warning here. It says need supplier Jennifer Hargery's bank account information to create batch payments. All right, so that means we've got to go in and set that up. So I'm going to go right click duplicate once again. I'll close out of this payment. And we'll go find that supplier, Jennifer Hargreaves. So I'll scroll down. There she is. I'll click onto that supplier. And I'll go to edit. We will scroll down until we find her bank account field. I will select her to do a batch payment here and we'll enter the BSB details. I will input a, a dummy number. So 
So in here, you would just, this is the statement text that will show up on Jennifer's bank statement. So I'll just say payment and then our business name. And we'll save that. Okay, so let's go and try that again. We'll go to pay bills. We'll select both of those payments, $720, create batch payment. And now we've got the same issue with Andrew Haberbosch. So we'll close out of this. We'll go to expenses, then suppliers. And we'll find Andrew here. We'll click into his file. Edit. Select the box to say I create batch payments and we'll input his bank details. save that and we'll try again now pay bills we'll select both the payments seven hundred and twenty dollars create batch payment and there we go it says two bills have been marked as paid very good and as you can see here as we clicked on the create batch payment button we had this little file pop up down the bottom here and as you can see, it is the date and then .aba being the 6th of January 2024.aba. Now you don't do anything with this file here. You don't open it, you don't edit it, you just leave it. What you have to do now is you have to go into your online banking account. And then depending on your bank, you will select to do a multiple payment and there will be a option there to uh, import an ABA file, to upload an ABA file, to import a batch file, something along those lines where you'll be able to click a button to upload a, a multiple supplier batch payment file, an ABA file, and then it'll ask you to locate your ABA file on your computer, which in most cases, it might be in your downloads folder. So all you have to do with this file here is make sure you know where it's saved. So you can do that by going show in folder and it will show you the directory that it's saved in. So if it's saved in your downloads folder, then you, when you're in your bank account and you select that ABA file to import the payment file, you go into your downloads folder or where, wherever it is saved and then you select that ABA file, you click open and you upload it into your bank. And then your bank will automatically send off that money and we'll just close out of this. Let's go have a look at that payment we just made. So we'll go expenses. So these are the two we just paid, Andrew and Jennifer for $720. Now what your bank will do when you upload the ABA file, it will automatically send $500 to Andrew and $220 to Jennifer all in one go. So it's like setting up a single payment, but paying multiple supplies in one go. So it's a very handy tool to have. All right, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you learned something here. If you're interested in doing some training with QuickBooks, you can go over to our website, qtraining.net.au. You can book in one-on-one uh, -on -one training sessions there that we conduct over Zoom, where I will show you personally how to go through and do certain things in your software. So we work a lot with not only QuickBooks, but Xero, Myob, Excel, and any other accounting system we can help you with. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you later.